Hello everybody, this is week 7 of Joe Gass's summer season. Like every week, I try to compete in that summer season. I've played one game just now uh, to get started and it was absolutely terrible. Got knocked out, lost 24 points. Uh, and that explains why I guess I'm nervous because I had reached a thousand rating points and now I'm back below to 989. It was Bermuda. I had no idea uh, that we had Street View coverage or photospheres in Bermuda and I got it. I got knocked out. So currently I stand in position 175 for the summer season. I have 14 games left to play. My target is to end up this season next week in the top 200. Um, I ended up in the top 200 in the past two seasons. Maybe I can do a little bit better than rank 184, which I think was my highest ranking in the season. So let's get started. I'm going to play like every time one game of each mode starting with Battle Royale Distance, where you have three lives, one minute to guess. The point is to get qualified for the next round without being the farthest away um, for the guesses. Does this look like a Turkish flag? It looks like a Turkish flag, and this looks like Turkish as well. And I explain my guesses as we go along. All this is Turkish, but where in Turkey is the question. It's quite green, so I don't think it's Ankara. I'm going to go on the west side of Turkey. You can see on Google Maps it's quite green along the coast uh, of Turkey. Let's go around here. Seems to be the best guess so far. No, nope, second best guess. Piotr uh, has guessed better. You can see this in the top right corner of the screen. As long as I don't have a red thingy, red bar on the left of my name, and as long as it's green at the top of the screen at this moment, you've made the cut. That means I'm qualified for the next round. So I don't need to panic. Um, but I'm at least 300 kilometers away from where this is because of what the distance I can see changing. But it's fine. It's first round. I'm going to get qualified. And you can see this blue strip on the left-hand side of the license plate of the car. Uh, so it was Izmir. Okay, so it was the western side of Turkey. And most players went there. Second round. Okay, we have a square concrete pole. Doesn't ring a bell here. I um, have no idea where we are. Interesting. So, we would be in the Northern Hemisphere. I'm thinking this would be Southeast Asia somewhere. I'm hesitating between Thailand and maybe the Philippines. But let's see if I can find some extra information to help me. This is probably Thailand. Why? Because of this little mini uh, personal temple here. It's quite flat, so I'm going to go in some flat area in Thailand. Let's go here. Best guess so far, but only three people guessed, including myself. Oh, by the way, we see the Thai flag here. Uh, that was an obvious one, this one. And this is the yellow flag, which is the symbol of the royal, I guess, uh, family in Thailand. You may remember the protests in Thailand, the red shirts uh, against the yellow shirts, the yellow being the one, the ones who are traditionally supporting the monarchy. And it is a crime or at least some form of felony in, Bang in, the, in Thailand to speak against the monarch. Okay, this looks that it could be Switzerland, uh, the architecture, the type of pavement, um, zone 30, yes, it looks like where I'm, uh, where I live, yes, well, where I live, not exactly, Bahnhof, this is indeed in German, and a typical Swiss sign of the cycling path, so we're in the Swiss, the German-speaking area of Switzerland, it's quite flat, oh, Winterthur, okay, perfect, I know where exact, exactly where this is, so it's right at the entrance of Winterthur, coming from the um, northwest, Vintertour is here, coming from the northwest. So let's go around here. Best guess so far, Vintertour. So I live around the Zurich Lake, which is this lake here. And you can see this is the start of the city limit of Vintertour. And because I'm coming with my compass, actually, I'm coming from this. No, I'm looking at the southeast. So it was the southeast. I don't know, whatever. Seems to have been the north of Vintertour. Okay, we made it to the next round. Let's see what we have here. This looks like European 
Yes, architecture, this is Italy. You can recognize the Italian flag here, the European Union flag. Um, but where in Italy you have the two strips, the blue strips left and right on the license plate. Do we have a hills here? We do have a hill. Um, what about the vegetation? Can I, it looks like it could be this, it could be anywhere in Italy, honestly. Um, with this kind of architecture, it's not easy to tell. I'm going to go a bit north for now. Oh, no way far away from Florence. No, 350 kilometers. I have two more guesses, but I, make, I need to make sure I'm not running out of time. Maybe this is more south. Let's go now south to Naples. Yeah, getting a bit closer. Let's go to Sicily, maybe, because it's not... I'm almost getting disqualified. Should I just wait? I'm just going to wait. Should make the cut. It was Sicily. No, 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 just opposite Sicily. Reggio or Reggio? I don't know how to say Calabria. All right. Um, I guess the vegetation would have been a telling sign, but I was not very good at this. All right. This is an easy one, but the problem is everyone's going to know this one with a snorkel and this square on the SUV. This is Kenya driving on the left, very green. So it's in the mountainous area. So it's not going to be in Mombasa. That's for certain. It's not on the coast. Um, and we see this towards the southwest. I don't see a lake. Southwest. Um, mountains. Would it be here next to Nakuru? No, 148 kilometers. Huh. It could be the mountains in this area. No idea where. Seems to be twisting and turning quite a bit. All right, let's go close to Nairobi. Okay, this is a better guess, but it's just random. I have no idea. That I assume most people would guess around Nairobi, but obviously this is not in the city. It's coming out in the countryside, and I don't know where. Okay, let's learn something. Okay, so it was in this area southeast of Nairobi. There's a green area. Okay, and the road is twisting and turning. Okay, we need, it, we need to make it to the top three to get any points for the season. Drive through. Okay, McDonald's, American flag. So we are definitely in the United States somewhere. And again, the United States being so massive, this is going to be a challenge. Do we have any indication here? Okay, UHC South Florida. Great, we got lucky. We see here advertising on a bus for South Florida. So we're going to go there. I guess the type of palm trees here is also an indication. Okay, South Florida. Uh, if we go to Miami, I don't know if this is Miami. Let's go to Miami, whatever. 11 kilometers away from the best guess. Okay, let's go to Tampa. There's one more person who hasn't guessed. I'm the fourth right now, a third in terms of accurate guess. Let's guess again. Nope, I'm doesn't change anything in terms of where I stand. It was Miami. So I just made the cut. As you can see, the number, f the fifth player here was eliminated and actually had guessed in Miami. And the fourth player is right around here next to me. Okay, here we go. Very dry, driving on the right, white paint. And this is Turkish with this little thing at the bottom of the sea, Koprusu. Okay, the highway is going northwest. It's quite dry. Do we know which highway it is? Can I find Koprusu somewhere? Northwest. I need to make the cut. I have three guesses. Can I find Koprusu? Northwest for this big highway. Northwest. Let me open the map in big. Do I see Koprusu? I don't see it. Um... Okay, let me make a guess. Okay, 23 kilometers is the best guess so far. Would it be around this area then? Did I just get lucky? No, 178 kilometers. I'm eliminated for now. No, not yet. Oh, I am eliminated. I can't find it. I made the cut just barely, barely. Oh, it was around here. Around Ankara. It was a ring road. Around Ankara. Oh, wow. And I just made the cut by guessing it randomly in Turkey. Just got lucky here. I could have gone east, more east, but... Okay, made the cut to the top three. 
um, let's see where the sun is located. It's pointing towards the northwest. So we're in the southern hemisphere. The trees look like it could be somewhere in southern Africa. And it's quite red, the soil. Just a bit surprised. Don't think this is, yeah, I think this is southern Africa somewhere. So we have this dirt road. It's a bit green, like. Yeah, definitely in the southern hemisphere somewhere. Okay, time to. Bit of a rift here. Okay, dry, going straight. Let me go in this. I mean, it's a bit green as well. Let me go around here, Johannesburg. 176 kilometers. It's not the best guess. What is it? Botswana? By any chance? No. Reddish soil. It was, it was Eswatini. Interesting. Okay, quite a lot of vegetation in that area. So I made the cut for the final, uh, which is better than what I fortunately did not record my terrible guess with Bermuda, um, where I got that wrong. Okay, this, is this... Okay, this is going to be Thailand. This is Thai script and driving on the left, so not Cambodia, not Laos. Um, very flat. So that's going to be a wild guess. Oh, we have mountains here. Mountains on the west, west and northwest. Okay, so this could be a little bit more north or here or more west. I think there are mountains here. Uh, should I go here first? Let me go here. It could be also all the way north toward Chiang Mai here, but I don't think this is Chiang Mai. It's too flat. Okay, they made a better guess. Let me go more north. It is more north as I thought. Oh, and they made a better guess still. Let me go to Chiang Rai in the last seconds. Yes. Yes, it was around Chiang Rai. I think the Golden Triangle is called or the Triangle of Drugs. I don't remember because of the three countries. Woohoo. So uh, I redeemed myself a little bit, getting plus seven points. I've, uh, I've lost my 1,000. Uh, Ella rating, but that's okay. Maybe I'll get it back. So a victory in this battle royale distance. Next, battle royale countries. In this case, as you know, I have to guess the exact country within the time limit, 90 seconds, and uh, before being the last one to guess, except on the first round. On the first round, if you're the last one, you still get qualified to the next round. So three lives, three attempts, and one 50-50 for the entire game. Let's see how we can do here. Got four other players for the time being. It's a bit more stressful with countries sometimes because you may recognize the vegetation. You may think you're in one country and it's actually just a neighboring country. All right, let's go. It seems we have full house. Not sure. Okay, so white line in the middle, yellow on the side. Um, we're in the Southern Hemisphere. Road is good. I would have thought South Africa right away. Blue car. Estate and restaurant. Or Botswana. As some people have guessed very quickly. It's not Brazil. It's not New Zealand. Driving on the left. I'm going to think it's South Africa. It's an interesting landscape. Okay, let's go for South Africa. Since everyone has guessed and nobody has guessed... South Africa wrongly. You can see the list of flags, which are incorrect countries. Okay, nine people are playing. Eight can make it. So one will be eliminated no matter what at the end of this round. This looks like Europe. Um, and Videj, okay. Don't recognize right away. Would this be Lithuania? Some Baltic state. Oh, people have guessed very quickly. It's not, um, it's not Poland. Why did I do this? I knew it was not Poland. I didn't recognize it. Okay, I'm going to use my 50-50. Czech Republic, that was correct. Um, I don't know why I guessed Poland. I knew it was not Polish. And I used my 50-50 because I just panicked. Um, oh, well, that's also how you can use it. Um, that's okay. Um, so that's why we're silent here on this occasion. Um, 
bit troubled with this one. Would this be Denmark? It seems quite flat, and I think this is a Danish flag. Okay, this is it. Danish flag. We're first one to guess. You can barely, barely recognize it, but it's this very elongated flag, which is red and the white cross. Uh, I'm surprised everyone guessed the previous one. Check very quickly. Maybe I've missed an obvious domain name or something. And I don't recognize the language uh, that quickly. Next round. We are in Europe. We have a Renault. Cafe and pizzeria. Do we, are we in Italy? No, maybe not. It's just a pizzeria. Um, I need to find more clues. It's quite flat. Oh, here we go. Do we have something here? Budva 382. And I don't remember. Would this be um, Albania? No. I think there is a. I think it's going to be Lithuania or something. No, it's Montenegro. I saw it here. Can I click quickly enough on Montenegro? Might have a bit of a lag. All right. Here we go. ME. We had it here. Podgorica is the capital city. And we must have a rift in the sky. Here it is. When you have a rift in the sky in Europe, it's usually Montenegro or Albania. And this is the flag of Montenegro. Um, I guess I'm a bit stressed and I'm not in my focused state of mind. I don't know. Um, so I don't make these obvious guesses, I suppose. Okay, this is Argentina or Uruguay. We have the going to go for Argentina. We have the 90 degree road signs. Everyone got it. Generation four camera, by the way, but I don't remember where we find the different street route cameras. Okay, this is going to be Pajala. Is this going to be Finland? Pajala. It sounds Finn. Finnish. I'm just wondering if it could be Sweden as well. Um, it's wrong. So it is Sweden. I had a doubt in theory. Um, in theory, nothing. I thought the blue would be indeed more likely to be Um, where this could be not just France, but Belgium. Not sure. I'm going to go here in case I'm wrong. I'm going for France. Okay, it is Belgium. It was written in French, but the uh, name sounded Flemish as well, the name of the town. Okay, we are likely in Singapore. They're going to know this as well. This is the final round. Unless we both get it, I'm going to go for Singapore. It's unlikely they did get it wrong. It's one of the easiest countries to guess. Here we go, we have the classic road sign for Singapore. So we still get another go at this. Brescia, okay, Brescia. I don't know how you say. In Italian, this is Italy. Dot IT. Are they guessing within one second? They have not guessed, so I make it back above 1,000 LO points, LO rating points. Finally, I've lost terribly. Uh, before I recorded this. So we win this Battle Royale countries. So let's do a duel. Uh, there is skill uh, based matchmaking. So I should have someone either very strong uh, above me or a bit weaker, but it should be in the same range of skills. So I could potentially lose a lot of points on that duel, but it's life. It's a game, right? Uh, trying to have fun at the end of the day. So it's waiting to match me with an opponent. But I could have a bit of a lag on my internet connection, so who knows? Maybe I won't be able to see the rating of the person I'm against. Which, oh, I will see it. 891, okay, so it's 100 points lower. So if I lose against them, I'm going to lose a lot of points. Okay, this is like Battle Royale distance. Okay, are we in the Netherlands? I see the yellow license plate. Yeah, very likely, and they're going to guess it as well. I'm going to play safe, probably around Amsterdam. Yeah, they would know. Around 900, they would probably know. It is Amsterdam. And we score just about the same number of points. This is not significant. It won't make a difference. Europe again with a kind of architecture. Could be Czechia. Could be, no, it's brick. It's most likely to be Belgium. It's white license plate. Um, 
QB Belgium with these brick houses, but I don't see the reddish tint on the license plate. I just want to confirm if I can find another clue somewhere. Otherwise, I'll just go for Belgium. Here we go. Yeah, that's a typical Belgian name. Hang on, is this going to be... It's the Flemish part of Belgium. It's not written in French. And Palfendel, um, closer than my opponent, who also guessed correctly, the Flemish side of Belgium. So it doesn't make a big difference either. Europe again, we have this A-shape utility pole. It's quite flat. Uh, any rift in the sky? No. I'm thinking this could be Serbia. I have to be careful with the um, how flat it is, because when it's flat, I tend to think Baltic state, but it doesn't give me a vibe of Baltic state. I don't think it's Poland. I don't see the utility pole. It's a white license plate, isn't it? Yeah. So this could be Croatia as well. Oh, here we go. We got a sign here. My opponent has guessed. Has guessed. And no, this is going to be Poland, actually. This is Polish. I am certain of it. So here we go. It was Southern Poland and they've guessed very closely to where it's actually located. Well done. Round four. Driving on the right. This is going to be Mongolia. This is the Mongolian Street View car or one of the two Mongolian Street View cars written in Cyrillic. We've got the mountains here. Could this be Ulaanbaatar? I don't think so. But the thing is, oh, all these huge mountains. I'm going to go, um, where's Mongolia? Just, oh, wow. I'm going to go west of Ulaanbaatar. I think you, are, you also have mountains here. I mean, you have mountains everywhere. I mean, not everywhere. It's also flat in Mongolia. But with these, it was Ulaanbaatar just north of it. Wow. Okay, and I'm farther away. Took a bit of a risk here. They went east, but they were close up. Healing around, so I need a bit of healing. Uh, this does look like Europe. Again, we have Turgovina. Doesn't ring a bell. White license plate. Here we go. Okay, Skolska um, Ulitsa. Thinking this could be Croatia. Not too certain. They don't really need the points. I'm not too sure what they're waiting for. Maybe they just want to play the game. Okay, let's go to Croatia. I'm not too certain of it. Let's see if we can see anything with this truck. Yeah, white license plate. I'm going to go in the flat area here. Yeah, worst case, it's going to be around yeah, Czechia and Serbia. I shouldn't be too wrong. I should get collect some points at the very least. Yeah, it should be Croatia with the, the yellow sign uh, indicating the end of the town. It is all the way here close to the Serbian border. So we're back to 6,000 points, both of us. And now it's really starting. Palm trees. Looks like an American tr uh, thing, truck here. Peanut. It's Portuguese for beer. Where are we? No, this is going to be Brazil. We have... Brazil here, uh, Brazil or Portugal, huh, I have a bit of a doubt, do we have anything on the license plates that can help us, not to certain, I think we, I see a blue on the left hand side, okay, I see blue, we have a Dacia here, Tap, this is Portuguese airline. But where are we? Which airport is this? We have the palm tree. Is this, I don't think this is the airport in Lisbon. I'm worried this is one of the islands. Could this be one of the islands? I'm not certain. I'm not certain if it's one of the islands. I don't see anything. Um, I'm going to go all the way south here because I'm worried it's Madeira or something. It's Lisbon. Okay. And they went to the airport. They got 5,000 points. Well done. 
found the exact location within 100 meters. And I've been to Lisbon Airport twice, or at least four times, you know, coming in, coming out. Uh, but I did not remember that it looked like this. Okay. So we have Australia here, .au. Um, and indeed, driving on the left, driving on the left, and city of Bramstown, right? Ramstown, I think. Or Rangtown, Bangtown, I don't know. Um, now, where would this be? I have no idea. I have no idea where this would be. With this kind of vegetation, I'm thinking it's around the Melbourne area, but honestly, I don't. I do not know anything. Um, in terms of okay, if you're tricky one, tricky. Ten seconds to guess. Can I find it? No, I can't really find it. Don't know where it is. Oh, around Sydney. Okay, it was, what was the name? I lose 3,000 points. Oh, wow, that's a horrible guess. Oh, yeah, well, horrible in the sense that I, it was double damage. Okay, this is going to be a tricky duel to win. Okay, here we go. We have the sun in the northern hemisphere. Uh, hmm. Would this be Canada in the central area? I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, TWP Road 12. I do think this is going to be around Winnipeg, uh, this area here with all these crisscrossing of roads, but where? It's going to be tough. Oh, and I lose a lot of points here. Is this enough for them to win? Yep. They have one. It was next to Galgari. Well done. And I lose a lot of points here. Minus 21. Good game. Good game. Well done. I don't know if they can see my my good game here. But well done to my opponent uh, for having won this game. Yeah, good game. Um, thanks. But this is terrible. Okay, so I'm going to play another duel because I don't like to lose uh, and end this video on a bad note. Uh, let's do it again. Let's see if I can reclaim a few points but I was not on a good footing. But they were really good. Their guesses were very, very good. So well-deserved. Okay, play with someone who's above 1,000 points. Ex oh, 1,005. So just where I've, I was before. So it's going to be a tough, tough, tough game. What do we have here? Chernov, Rozvodi, SPO. Oh, they already guessed. Uh, could this be... So a Dacha, I thought I saw a Dacha. Seven seconds, Chernov. Yeah, I don't know where this is. I'm gonna go for Romania here next to Serbia. Uh, it's Czechia. Okay, they got it wrong. They try to go very quickly with Hungary. Okay, so let's see. Need to test the waters a bit. Okay, they have a bit of an emoticon here. Um, this is Japan with these multi-layered roofs. No, it's not Japan. This is Taiwan, actually, with this um, stripes going in diagonal. And the guy was driving on the right-hand side. So it's Taiwan. We have, yeah, clearly Taiwan. We have uh, the mountains on the east. Uh, it's going to be a tricky one, isn't it? Uh, they know that it's Taiwan. With a 1,000 rating points, they know it's Taiwan. Let's go here. Oh, they guess. They guess in China. I'm surprised. Or maybe they just went quickly. Um, okay, let's go for this one. Baran, Barancia, I don't know. Oh, here we go. We have something. This must be Spain, LP401. Uh, this must be the district, the, the province in Spain, LP401. 401, but which one? You can see water here. LP. Um, I hope it's not going to be these ones here. No, this is TF for Tenerife. GC. 
Just checking it's not these ones first. LP. Here we go. It's what I saw, right, at the beginning. Let me go back. It was LP. LP for Las Palmas. Yes, makes sense. 401. Can I find 401? Can't find it. Can't find it. They found the island. Well done. Well done. Well done. Uh, okay, they saw the sign and they knew that these uh, LP, these double letters, usually mean that uh, we're in Spain somewhere. Northern Hemisphere, white line on the road. I don't know where we are for this one, to be to be frank. It's very green. Road is not too bad. Could be Croatia. Uh, with these mountains. Let's see, it's a bit dry on this side. Yeah, could be. Would not be surprised with Croatia. And they've guessed already, and I have no clue. No clue where this is. I'm going to go for Croatia. They've guessed already. Um, let me see where. Let's go around Zadar. In case I'm wrong, at least. Oh, it's Montenegro. They may have seen the rift. Well done. Okay. Healing rounds. Brick houses. Brick houses. Um, Belgium. We have this reddish tint on the license plate. Probably a northern part of Belgium. So I'm getting a few points back, almost all the way back. Yes, just missing 50 points, 53 points. Not a big deal. Come on. What am I going to do here? This is Europe again. Driving on the right. We have the Bollard, which reminds me of Slovenia and Austria. But I think we have them somewhere as well. And I forgot. I just played yesterday with these Bollards. Thinking it could be Slovenia. We had Serbia, maybe. Could this have been Serbia for these Bollards? SRB. I think I saw SRB. So I think this is going to be Serbia. It is Serbia next to Croatia. Okay. They were a bit closer than me. Nice one. Well done. Um, Europe again. The architecture, the cars. It's red. We could be in Belgium. It could be in, Den uh, in Denmark as well. Just want to make sure it's a Citroën. So it could be more likely to be. Yeah, this sounds more that it would be in Belgium with that name I just saw. I'm going to go for Belgium again. Maybe more in the south this time. French side. Yeah, closer to Germany. They got. They get closer. Well done. Architecture looks European again. Um, driving on the right. Oh, this is Polish, I think. Yeah. The Polish Eagle. Um, yeah, Skowa. Uh, we're going to go we go for Warsaw. I don't think it's Warsaw, but I don't know if it's Warsaw, but it looks like a city. It's just to guess more quickly. Oh, they found it. Katowice. Okay. Nice. Well done. Um, stone. Stone fort. Written in Arabic. Uh, we have a mosque. Would this be either Israel, Tunisia? Yeah, it's Israel. Here we go. We have Hebrew. I'm going to go for Jerusalem. I'm assuming it's going to be between, uh, it's probably going to be in the West Bank or close to the West Bank. Oh, they went for Malta. That was not a not a stupid guess, actually. Oh, it's enough. Enough to win. Oh, wow. Plus 17. Oh, 998. I made it just, just below uh, my 1,000. Uh, they went for Malta, and the reason for that is they they saw the the stone uh, buildings, but they didn't care. They didn't look carefully enough. It was written in Arabic, and then I saw the Hebrew. Um, so it's probably a religious site. Okay, so we're gonna end this video now with this plus seventeen, almost to one thousand. 
uh, ELO points, so almost at the same level as uh, when I started, actually higher than when I started because I, I lost my points uh, before I started recording. Um, so we stand currently at rank 148. I still have a bunch of games left. Uh, so if you're playing, good luck to you and hopefully you enjoyed this video. So I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.